Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to unbox, test and review this Volam 9.26 inch portable wireless car stereo with Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, a 2.5K uh, uh, front uh, dash cam, a 1080p rear cam, backup cam, whatever you want to call it, touch screen, blah, blah, blah. Now, why are we looking for this? Uh, well, we have a vehicle with a dead stereo. So it's a longer story, but that's what it gets down to. And so what we need is something with decent sound in it as well, because we, while this unit will connect through FM or a cable or even through Bluetooth to the stereo that's built into the car, we can't use that because our stereo's toast. So this needs to have decent speakers. And from the reviews we've read, yes, it's not perfect because all of these portable stereos are using small speakers that can't possibly compete with the quality of the speakers that are built into your vehicle but it sounds pretty good so we think let's get to unboxing this and as we do we'll uh, provide some specifications and then we'll plug it in and we'll run a test and explain a couple of little gotchas that we uh, found as we go through it so we'll show you the box first because somebody always wants to see the box but there's nothing interesting on it just this little explanation of things you can do with it. And the support, which is dc at umail.com. Now, we already dealt with them for something and they were actually quite helpful, so that's a good sign. This gets to a good point, however. This is completely unsponsored. They haven't given us a penny and uh, we sourced this through Amazon, but you can get it in many different ways, including avail it's also available at Best Buy. This is unpaid, unsponsored, so hey, if you found this useful, please give us the thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. All right, let's look at the unit itself. It's pretty straightforward. A uh, little bit of how-tos and instructions here. Let's pull that off. 9.6-inch uh, diagonal screen. You can see it's not very tall, which means it's not going to obstruct your view very much. Uh, inputs, auxiliary. That's for an SD card, which they provide. A nice 64-gig SD card, and uh, it's of the higher quality, so it will... I'll be able to record a high-speed video, which is nice. The AV jack, or USB Type-C, which you will use for power through your cigarette lighter. Serial number, nothing else. On the top, that is a power button. The mounts are interchangeable. You can replace this mount if you wanted. The mount is flexible. And if you were going to use the suction cup with it, you would pull this off. Four quick screws. And of course, there's the front facing dash cam. The only thing you have to do before you get it going, you don't have to, but you should, is put the 64 gig uh, memory in. Rear backup cam with a gigantic cable, which is not a requirement, by the way, it's optional. Cigarette lighter charger with a type C connector. Auxiliary cable, and then just bits that you may or may not ever use, including the screwdriver to change the mount, as well as the suction cup mount that we talked about. So let's plug it in. So that's my cigarette lighter. Boom, from the cable out. I'll do it nicely afterwards, but for the minute, that's where it goes. So the first thing we wanted to do when we had this powered up was to have it run with our phone and uh, just to test out the Bluetooth. So we went into went into here and thought we'd set up Bluetooth audio. No, 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 no. This is the output. So the output, in our case, because we have a dead stereo, needs to come from speaker. Uh, we had tried uh, Bluetooth audio, but what that's going to do is if you have your stereo working, as you can see in the graphic here, it will allow you to push the audio from this unit to your stereo. Well, that doesn't work for us uh, because we have a dead head unit. We don't have a stereo. Uh, same with the FM, you could choose a channel and uh, this will broadcast uh, and your stereo could pick it up. Auxiliary, that's that little plug-in. Uh, but again, our entire stereo is dead, so we have to go back to speaker. We have to rely on these two speakers on the back. So we will go through this in order. Uh, the first thing was just simple Bluetooth music. Select confirm and then on your phone, you just set it to pair, which is pretty straightforward. There it is, pair, beautiful. So now if we play audio from here, it's going to come out of here. There's so there we've brought up 
a nice YouTube ad. There we go, we'll stop that. And you can hear it's coming out of here. And we can turn the volume up on the phone. Also, we can go into the speaker and adjust the maximum volume that it would have as well. So that's the two places to adjust volume. One is on your source device, which in this case happens to be a Samsung S22, but would work just as well if it were an Apple iPhone. Let's go back to home. And uh, Android Cast, all it does is let you mirror your phone here, but it mirrors it vertically. There's probably a way to switch it, but we didn't figure it out quickly, so we're just gonna leave that alone. AirPlay, I think you know what that is if you're an Apple person. All right, so most people are going to want to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So how do you set it up? Not very hard. Click on Android Auto in our case, because we have a Samsung S22, which is obviously Android. And it tells you how to set it up, and let's just walk you through it. You swipe down from the top, in our case, and we go to our Bluetooth and it scans for devices, there it is. Now, if you don't like that name, uh, you can go into your BT Manage and you can rename it, but we don't really care what it's called. So we will simply click on pair, available devices, pair, and bingo, it's up. So we can do things like, okay, Google, what's the temperature in Beijing, China? Currently in Beijing, China, it's 10 degrees. And that information is coming from Android Auto, which is really coming from our phone. And, and that gets to a good point. From what I can tell, this device doesn't have very much in it. It's really just a platform for these other services like Miracast or Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Okay, Google, navigate to work. We have played with this, this is happy. Let's go to audio now and play some music. All right, we had to uh, mute the music here because if we don't, YouTube will block it. Uh, but you can trust us, it played just fine. And all of the uh, commands work fine as well. Whoa, what are you listening to this for? Wait, there you go. Backpack at 3.49% APR for 72 months with down payment. That's just seven by weekly. Cash value of 40294 Plus. So the audio is quite loud, quite clear. Is it as good as your car stereo? Hell no. As for making calls, it works great. Okay, Google, call Safeway. Calling Safeway Chestermere Station. Thank you for calling your friendly neighborhood Safeway. For store hours and location information. And if we really want to continue with that ad, well, we sure can. Let's visit your local Ford store or Ford.ca. <laughs> no, thanks. We can adjust the brightness. We'll leave it there and let's go to the camera we can stop it recording that's using the front cam that's uh that's there and by the way that front cam says that it's 2.5k don't be confused it's just slightly better than a standard 1080p high definition camera it simply means that there's 2500 dots across the top it's an excellent camera as you can see let's go back home back to android auto and you can see how fast and responsive this thing is. It's pretty good. All right, let's get out of Android Auto. We'll just go home and we'll show you a couple of other things that are useful. So here are all of your settings. And uh, the one that we like is factory reset. <laughs> split screen mode is handy. Let's set it to split screen mode. And then let's go back to home. We'll select Android Auto, and you can see we've got Android Auto on part of it and split screen on the other. Yay. Now let's go back to home, go back to settings. Let's set auto dimming. Yes, it is on. We would like it to 71% brightness at these times. That's just fine. So you can see it's uh, quite a high resolution screen, and you've seen that it's also quite responsive. So what haven't we gone over yet? The backup camera. It's a generic 1080p, which means high quality, high definition backup camera. So I have every expectation this will work just fine. 
So here's our review of the Volam 9.26 inch portable wireless car stereo <laughs> with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we like this thing. It's fast. In other words, it's quite responsive when we're using it. Uh, because it, it it's really, as we said earlier, it's just a platform uh, for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, or if you just want to make Bluetooth calls and have basic sound uh, transfer through, you know, this will work just fine for that. The uh, two speakers on the back seem to be of high enough quality. Uh, the standard for these types of devices is one three watt speaker, but and I believe these are two three watt speakers. Uh, does that make it uh, the highest quality? No, there's better out there. But uh, for $150 Canadian, or let's say 100 and change US, it's pretty amazing. Probably the last thing you think about when you're buying a product like this is tech support. Uh, and these guys, I couldn't find a website for them. So I had to rely on the email that's on the box and on uh, Amazon, which is where we sourced it from. We found they were great. They got back to us within a day, pretty happy. And they came back with a reasonable response with a screenshot to answer a question we had. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. We're definitely keeping it. So, hey, if you like this video, please give us the big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe's also always appreciated. They both really help with the Google algorithms. Uh, beyond that, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.